In this episode of how to build a house profitably, we're going to talk about how to lay the foundations without profile boards. Hi, my name is Jim J. Davidson and I'm a property developer, international award-winning speaker, and I first invested in property in 1973. By 1983, I was able to take my property profits and uh, start a convenience store chain. Uh, over the next few years, I built that up to four stores and a petrol station before moving off to live in Florida. Returned to the UK in 2000 and established my company, Fineside Developments. Fineside Developments then produced its first new build in 2006. I've seen many ups and downs of the property industry uh, over the years. Uh, in fact, when I first got involved in property, there were no short assured tenancies, uh, there were no assured tenancies, and uh, in fact, the banks didn't even, uh, or in fact, nobody uh, lent on buy to let mortgages. So a very, very different situation. Um, Having said that, as much as I've been involved in property and business over the years, I don't know everything. But what I do know, I hope I can share with you and that will hopefully benefit you. So the first thing that we want to be doing with the site is uh, clearing the site. And um, this basically means stripping off a lot of the, the soil so that you end up with a level site. And we were able to do that. Now, you might be concerned that when you look at this picture here, that the house next to, uh, to our site here is going to fall into the, that plot. Um, now, there's no need to worry about that because actually the, the engineer designed the foundations for that site to go down to the same level as as our foundations so it's in very very stable ground uh, we will put up um, a small retaining wall but when we say retaining wall it's actually not really going to uh, ne be necessary in order to hold back uh, the house but it will certainly be there to hold back the earth um, to, to keep that in place uh, but that will be done at a later date so what we need to do now is to take the drawings that the engineers prepared and make them useful to the ground workers. So it's essentially taking the drawings and mimicking them on the ground. So why is this important? Well, first of all, the building inspector is going to expect the house to be in the place that we said it was going to be when we submitted the planning uh, drawings and uh, the uh, building warrant. So um, it needs to be in the right place. And uh, so that's part of it. But also uh, the engineers need to know where to dig out the, the foundations because we're gonna put some concrete in the ground here and they need to know exactly where to put that concrete. Um, and, and it needs to be accurate. Obviously we don't want to use more concrete than is necessary because that's obviously adds to the expenditure of the house. So it's very important that this is done accurately. Now, just to give you some context, where is this in the build process? This is part of the build it part and we are in foundations. So as I've said before, essentially we're going to mimic what was on the plans onto the ground. So traditionally, this was done using profile boards. And you will see at the end of each red line here, there is a board. And the string that is represented by the red line comes from the center of that board. The actual width of the board is the determination of the width of the actual foundation that's going to be dug out. So we're looking for the centers. Now, this diagram is, is not entirely accurate because what it's showing here is the yellow lines should actually be masked uh, over the red lines because that's essentially the, where the centers of each of the foundations are going to be dug out. But they're slightly off center there just to give you the representation of, of how this works. So at every intersection of the foundation, we need to have a red line. So as that we basically create a grid system, which then can help us accurately lay out the foundations. However, I did say traditionally, and what we have done for this site is something different. 
So essentially to mark out the site, we have two ground workers and an engineer. And the device that the engineer is using is a GPS device that is going to actually track the exact positioning of where the foundations should go. And this is achieved by him uploading the data from the drawings with GPS coordinates. So when he takes this device and places it on the ground, it's absolutely pinpoint accuracy as to where the foundations should be pegged out. So what he does is identify the corners of each of the foundations. And once that corner has been identified, one of the ground workers will then drive in the stake. And coming behind him, the second ground worker will mark out the corner. So you will see these uh, two lines at the point of where the stake is. So he goes around the whole site, marking out the corners and the intersections. And we end up with, to pinpoint accuracy, the foundations, the way that they should be laid out. So to illustrate this more fully, we're now going to move to some footage so as that you can see this in action. So in summary, we start off with a level site. The engineer marks out each of the corners of the foundations. Then one of the ground workers will drive a stake in at that corner, while the second ground worker will mark that corner with paint. Once the engineer has completed marking out all the corners and the ground worker has driven in the stakes at those corners and the other ground worker, has, uh, ground worker has marked out the corners with paint. The two ground workers now work in pairs and they will run a piece of string from each of the corners and as they do that they will then run the spray paint right along the string to connect the corners and what they end up with then is the foundations fully marked out, ready for the digger driver to start excavating the foundations. So in the next video, what we're going to do is talk about the different types of foundations, and then we're going to talk about the particular foundations that we've used on this site and, and take you through that process. So please join us for that. In the meantime, please do us a favor, like and share. If you have any comments, put it in the comment box below and I will answer them. And uh, please tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.